Welcome back to the second part of the Sting build video. Today we're going to be wiring up the FPV equipment and the flight controller. We're going to be configuring some settings and then we're hopefully going to be getting to a test flight. So let's dive in. Well, right, just to do a quick recap of where we left off last time, we've got the motors, the ESCs all wired up and connected to the RROSD and we're pretty much all set with the bottom portion, the main power distribution of the copter. So today, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to wrap up wiring the FPV equipment and the flight controller. So let's get started. To start, I'm going to be routing some wires to be used uh, later for a 5 volt back. So let's get those power leads wired up. Okay, so these two wires here will be used for a 5 volt back that will be powering the LEDs. So now we're going to route the FPV cables. Here's the video transmitter and the cable for the FPV cam. I've got the cables pre-cut to the lengths that they need to be. Also the FPV camera cable needs to be routed through uh, this hole in the top plate before it is soldered on. So let's get soldering. All right, now that we have those wired up, I'm gonna be running uh, some cables out of the five volt power supply of the ROSD to power the flight controller. So now that we have those wired up, we can go ahead and take our flight controller and put it on the stack. I already have a uh, receiver connected to this flight controller as I took it off a previous build. So we're just gonna place that right on. I also have these little rubber grommets that I'm going to use to soft mount my flight controller. Let's give it some vibration isolation and help, uh, help it perform a little bit better. All right, now that we have power attached to the flight controller, we're going to be routing all the ESC cables, getting the signals and the ground going to the respective motor outputs. So the ESC cables are all wired up and uh, everything is looking good. There are no shorts and all the motors are working. So now let's move on to wiring up the buzzer and we can start wiring up uh, these LEDs as well. Okay, now we have the LEDs mostly wired up. Now we just need to put the top on, wire up the 5 volt back, and seal everything up, and we are good to go. Okay, now we have the top plate mounted onto the Sting, and we have the FPV transmitter mounted on top of that. Now it is time to mount up the side plates and uh, see how we're going to wire up this back. Okay, now that we have the Beck all wired up, we can put on the side plates, mount the camera, and tie up all the loose ends, and then uh, we'll be done. Okay, here is the completed Sting 180 build. Gotta add these arm braces here, but I might do some flying without it first and then add them in a little bit later. Um, but uh, I am really excited to get this in the air, so let's uh, configure some things on the flight controller and then uh, we'll do a little test flight. The Sting 180 is fully configured and set up. It is ready to fly. We're going to do our first flight line of sight and then we're going to move on to some FPV. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, here we go. It flies. Disarmed. Air moved off. Well, it flies. Let's move on to some FPV. Goggles on and ready for the first FPV flight of the Sting 180. Armed. Air moved on.
Well, that's it for the first battery on the Sting. Well, that is it for the completion of the Sting 180 build. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support me and if you want to buy the Sting 180, check it out on Armiton Productions. You can find all my frame designs there, including this one. And as always, thank you for watching. Happy flying. See you next time.